Hey everyone, this is the weekend edition of the LA Report. I'm Jill Revlogel, College Pathways reporter for KPCC and LAist.com. One of the higher education models I've been looking into lately is apprenticeship. Apprenticeship gives students the opportunity to earn money while they learn on the job. California has been ramping up apprenticeship opportunities in recent years in fields that are not typically associated with them, like information technology and healthcare. I looked into one apprenticeship that helps state healthcare workers rocket from some of the lowest paying jobs to some of the highest. When I talked to Denise Myers over Zoom in August, she had just achieved a long time dream. Here I am. I'm an RN, and it's because the union... And the At age 54, are... she graduated from nursing school. She choked up a little while telling me about it. I get emotional. Sorry. <laughs> it's a huge deal. It's a huge deal. Myers works for California Correctional Health Care Services. She tends to incarcerated people in a rural Southern California prison. Her dream of becoming a registered nurse dates back at least 15 years, when she tried to enroll in the nursing program at Riverside City College. She didn't get in. Nursing programs are notoriously competitive in California. In fact, the Riverside City College program only accepts about one in four applicants each year. She could have kept trying semester after semester, but she was a single mom with three kids to take care of. I needed to really get out into the workforce and earn an income. So she became a licensed vocational nurse, or LVN, instead. It's a much shorter, less demanding program, but it comes with a salary that's about half what a registered nurse makes. Still, Myers got what she needed, a job straight out of school working for the state prison system. She always thought she'd eventually go back to college for nursing, but the nearest campus was two hours away from her small desert town, and she couldn't afford to stop working and take on student loans. I all but gave up on that hope. Until late 2019, when she and the other LVNs at her workplace were asked to submit a letter of interest to join an apprenticeship program that would allow them to keep their jobs and their salaries while spending half of their work hours studying to become a registered nurse. The one-year program would put them up in a hotel while they did their clinical hours in a Riverside hospital. And it was all free. She got accepted. I mean, it just everything fell into place and it was a miracle, really. The LVN to RN Apprenticeship Program is a collaboration between Riverside City College, the state prison health care system, and SEIU Local 1000. That's the union that represents state employees. Ken Anyanwu is with SEIU. He helps support people going through the apprenticeship programs. One of the challenges that the state prison system has been facing is a chronic shortage of nurses and the use of mandatory overtime to fill that need. The apprenticeship program is an alternative way to fill that need, with employees who already work in the system and would love the chance to take their careers to the next level, but previously didn't see a way to make that happen. That's one comment that we hear frequently from those who are ultimately accepted into the program is that I didn't think this sort of thing was possible for me. You know, I didn't think that getting to go back to school was going to be an option for me. Barbara Barney Knox oversees the approximately 7,000 nursing staff members who work for California Correctional Health Care Services. She says when the union first brought up the idea of an apprenticeship for licensed vocational nurses to become registered nurses, she did not understand how that was going to work. Initially, I was dead set against it. And that's because, like many people, when you think of apprenticeship, you think of the labor trade, right? The construction worker. But once she saw it in practice, she understood the benefits. What we gain is a higher level of an employee better attendance, a more professional, knowledgeable workforce, and, she says, better health outcomes for patients. California now has three nursing apprenticeship programs for correctional nurses. Some 40 people have graduated, including Denise Myers. She started her new job as a registered nurse in October. Thanks for listening to this weekend edition of the L.A. Report. Suzanne Watley and Nick Roman are back on Monday with the a.m. and p.m. weekday editions. Until then, be safe and have a great weekend. I'm Jill Replogle.